that y'all had a good Christmas and a good New Year, because I did, except for the fact that my dog got brutally attacked. Now I'm performing wound care on her twice a day. Actually, it's cut down to once every 24 hours now, but she's a real miracle. Welcome to the Lupus Profile, it's me, Anna, and today we're gonna to talk about peritoneal dialysis. So, I've not talked about peritoneal dialysis very much just because it's been so long since I've done that type of dialysis. For those of you who are completely new, like you don't know squat about kidney failure and all this and that, peritoneal dialysis is a different type of dialysis which is done through the peritoneal cavity. And I'm gonna post a picture right here so you guys can see what a peritoneal cavity is. Another term for it would might be just abdominal cavity. It's just this whole space that contains all of your organs in it, like your liver, your spleen, kidneys, stomach, intestines, that whole shebang. It's all inside of a little or a big cavity called the peritoneal cavity. The peritoneal cavity is completely lined with a lot of uh, capillaries and these capillaries are, you know, little tiny blood vessels where it, it has a, a very leaky membrane, is what I'm trying to say, where you can actually perform the exchange of fluids and electrolytes over that little barrier, and then um, it can be removed from the body through a catheter. Well, I know it probably sounds a lot more complicated than well, than how I'm explaining it, and I'm probably actually confusing you guys, but you know what? I'm doing my best, okay? I can't do any better than that. I'm gonna try to explain this picture to you, okay? My mom makes the best strawberry shortcake you've ever tasted, ever, okay? I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you right now, she knows how to make good strawberry shortcake. When we, um, we cut the strawberries out, we put them in a bowl, and then we, we sprinkle sugar on top of the strawberries. You leave the strawberries anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes. We go back and the strawberries are gonna be like all juicy, okay? That's because the sugar like pulls out the extra fluid inside the strawberries, okay? I just want you to picture that because that is how I picture per peritoneal dialysis. That's just the best way I can think to explain how it works, okay? So this dialysate, this dialysate is, it's got a lot of dextrose or sugar in it and I put it inside of your abdomen and it sits there for a good 45 minutes to an hour. And in that hour, your peritoneal cavity kind of becomes more juicy like it it pulls out the extra like toxins and things that your body doesn't need and and then it just it drains it out through this does it hurt does pd hurt no man it doesn't hurt you can sleep through it okay um if it does hurt you need to talk with your doctor because there might be something going on it shouldn't hurt um if it hurts you could you could be getting an infection or something or maybe you're constipated and that could be another problem you have to keep your bowels pretty regular because of where it is the catheter on the inside can get kinked up with your if you you know with constipation so um that could be another issue sometimes if the fluid is not warm enough like if you need to set your temperature up or something and it, the, if it's just too cool sometimes that can be a little bit irritating to the abdomen but really in general it should not hurt it's pretty painless you before you get hooked up you get all of your vital signs and your weight you hook up to the machine you go to sleep you're done for the night and the next morning you wake up disconnect you're good to go you what if you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night my care team made sure that my lines were plenty long enough I could walk from my bedroom into the living room and all the way almost to the kitchen while I'm on dialysis. Like just have this huge tube hanging from me, you know, people just had to watch where they were stepping, but it was totally possible. And you can talk with your doctor. They'll, they'll make things where it'll work for you. So 
All right, let's 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 take a look at my drawing. All right, so as you can see, this is an abdomen and there's a catheter that's hanging out of the abdomen and that's generally where it's located. Kind of, oops, there's a sticker here, I'm sorry. What? Anyway, um, there's not always a dressing on it like they do with like a hemodialysis uh, catheter because that one goes directly to the blood. This one, typically, when I had it anyway, and I would get the excess of the tubing and just kind of coil it up and tape it up on my abdomen so it wasn't swinging all over the place. But yeah, it stays there. You don't you don't take it in and out or anything. It just stays there. Um, you just have to make sure that you keep your insertion site, the area around the catheter, keep it clean. You're not really supposed to take sit down baths or get it really wet, you know. The biggest risk with peritoneal dialysis is the risk for infection because you've got it, it's open and it's hanging out. PD is always done at home. You'll generally be provided with a cycler that looks kind of like this. You have dialysate bag. You put one that sits on top of the machine because there's a warmer on here. And then you have like an IV pole that holds more bags of the same stuff. But basically how this works is it's all hooked up to a set of tubings and the tubing, you connect it to your catheter. There's, it's like, it just screws on. It puts in a certain volume. Your prescription is gonna be placed in here. I'm just gonna throw out numbers, okay? Cause I can't remember what my numbers were right now. Let's say that it puts one liter of fluid into your abdomen and it's gonna sit there for like 45 minutes to an hour. And then what it does is it drains that out into waste. That is your the body's urine, I guess, because it's a waste. When it drains that out, what you should get out is actually more than what you put in. If you put in one liter of fluid, 1.2 should be what comes out, or, you know, it just, it varies. But all night long, it's doing that cycle while you're sleeping. So one good thing about this, you don't have to do your blood pressures every 30 minutes, like what you do with hemodialysis. It's less abrasive because you're doing it every night when you're sleeping. You get to be a little bit more flexible about your diet. You get to drink a little bit more because again, you're doing this every single night. Now, mind you, this is just very, very basic information. There's lots of patients out there who do things a little bit differently. Some of them, they'll do like a certain number of X changes throughout the day you know, maybe two or three or four, I don't know, and maybe just not, and then do it also at night. I don't know, everybody is different, and, you, and it just depends on the doctor. So why would somebody wanna do PD versus like hemodialysis? My personal opinion is PD, I like PD actually better than hemo, just because I think I felt better on it. And also, like I said, you get to do it at home every single night and it's not abrasive. Like with hemodialysis, just it's just a lot more aggressive. Greater chance of blood pressures bottoming and developing cramping and just a whole bunch of stuff that's just not fun. So yeah, I do like PD better. It is not fun to have a catheter, but you know, it's whatever. If you don't, if you don't have a PD catheter, you have a hemodialysis catheter or a fistula or graft. So it doesn't really matter what kind of dialysis you do. You're going to have to have something foreign and weird looking. So it's just, you just got to embrace it. It's part of our superpowers. So anyway, uh, pros feel better, less restrictive. Oh, no needles. Mm -mm -mm. Nobody likes needles. I don't like needles, guys. It's just, it ain't fun to poke myself. Okay. I don't like it, but I know it's gotta be done. PD is a really great thing. I think for, especially if you're a pediatric patient, you know, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, cons, room. So if you think hemodialysis at home takes up a lot of room, PD probably takes up twice as much room because you're using these pre-mixed bags of dialysate. And I think I used like four per treatment and that's a that's four five liter bags so that's 20 liters of fluid per treatment that i'm using that yeah, you do the math if i'm doing dialysis every single night 
I'm using four five liter bags every single night and for one week, seven, you know, ah, that's a lot. And that was with me being the size that I am. So somebody who's a little bit bigger or maybe they have worse kidney function or whatever, they you might have a different prescription. So the doctor might actually order even more bags and that's gonna be like a lot more room. So definitely one thing with PD is that it takes up a lot of room. And while it does provide you the flexibility to travel and stuff, you have to take into account the amount of supplies and things that you have to take with you for just an overnight trip. And it might not be worth the hassle to you. Risk for hernia. So because of, because of its location, guys, it's just, it's a risk that very common to develop hernias there because you're gonna put fluid in the abdomen and if there's a weak spot in there, you know, poof, um, they don't typically hurt. And I did have one, my doctor wasn't too worried about it though. He just said, whenever we go in there to, to do your transplant, we'll just fix it when we go in there. But it kind of went away on its own, so we didn't really have to worry about it. Body image issues, well, we already kind of sort of already addressed that. I said that, you know, body image issue is gonna be a problem no matter what kind of dialysis you're doing. So my, my way of coping with that, if you will, is just say, you know what, it's the thing that sets me apart from the rest of humanity. It's like, like my superpower, you know? I mean, Spider-Man didn't become Spider-Man because he was just an average Joe. No, he got bit by a radioactive spider and then became weird, right? He had body image issues, I'm pretty sure. So um, yeah, this is just in a nutshell how PD works. Yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Do you know somebody on peritoneal dialysis? Are you on peritoneal dialysis? Let me know what your experience is like with that. And again, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the flip.